Keto Made Easy. I'm Josh, my beautiful wife, Crystal. Hi. How many of you are trying this keto diet out and have a sweet tooth? And man, you're craving something sweet and I can't find anything. I was there all the time. I got to experiment in the kitchen. I found some good stuff and I want to share that with you. I want to make it so you can have that sweet tooth fix and not go off keto. So, I, mean, if I created this toffee bar thing and I got to do a little experimenting and it's absolutely delicious, and I think I'm going to share that with you today. So, allergy-wise, here's our ingredients. So, you know, we have, especially nut allergies, we'll have issues. We're going to be using some almond flour, coconut flour, some pecan halves. Um, we've got some zero sugar chocolate here. Um, Quest protein powder, I really like that one. This multi-purpose mix is really great for a flour substitute. Um, Swerve brown sugar, it's a great brown sugar, but the best one I found for that, some butter. That's our allergy things. So, let's get into making this. Chris, if you wouldn't mind, um, 350 is where I bake this at. So, let's just get this thing, get the oven preheating here for us. And we're going to get right into, uh, I'm going to start here with some protein powder. Say so it's very powdery, that's why I'm using the other flour, it's great, it's a great substitute. But, I'm going to use two scoops of it. These scoops are roughly a third of a cup. I've measured them out before, but it comes with a handy little scooper, so we'll do it. And that's what this stuff looks like in here. It, it's real powdery. Man, it's a great substitute for flour. Um, man, why don't you? Because I can't, apparently can't put something on straight. And especially when I'm using dessert stuff, I like to use a little bit of coconut flour. Gives it a little bit of a, it's, it's a twinge of sweetness to coconut flour. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of that. It's great when you're making dessert crust and stuff like that. Um, but I, I like to use these other flours and not just straight the crust because like I say, it's a little powdery. This gives it, these give it a more of a base. And that's really what the almond flour that I'm about to add is gonna do too. It gets it that, gives it more of a texture and it cooks a little better that way. So I'm using six tablespoons of almond flour. Mm -hmm. See if I can count because there's a chance I can't. Four, five, and six. Now we'll get this, and also to give it a little sweetness to this crust, I just want to get into our swerve brown sugar mix here. This is going to be, <coughs> see how big of a mess I can make with this. You know, it's more fun when you make a mess, to be honest. I'm going to use a half a cup of this. Roughly, because I'm a pretty rough guesstimate kind of feller. I was a little shy of that, so I'll get a little bit more. There we go, that'll fill it up. All right, now we're just gonna mix this together. Get a good mixed in. Use a whisk, fork, whatever you, heck, your hands. Like I say, it's a lot more fun when you're getting messy with it. Let's get all good and combined together. And then, He's got to hold it all together when we're cooking. I've already, I've already pre softened this, but this just softened just about a half a stick of butter. We'll use the other, the other parts of the butter later. And get that forked into all this. As we're mo moving around here, like I say, I usually try to get it forked in like this. To be frank, it's a lot easier when I dig in through with my hands because it just got to get all mixed in together. Get all that flours and sugars and butter all. Combine into a nice little crust. It's still gonna be very flaky. It's not gonna make a real dough. It's, it's, as I get this all mixed together, you see how it's gonna be kinda of very crumbly. And that's the point. It's gonna be kind of a crumbly dough. So if you look at that, and it's gonna, you know, where the butter's at, it's gonna clump together, but. Like a really moist powder. Yeah, it's a, it, more a moist powder, like you say there, Crystal. Um, yeah, who, who can you mess go? All right. Then I got about a nine by nine little square pan, roughly, I didn't measure it, but hey, that's where they usually come in, right? Just pour it all in the bottom of that pan. And then we're gonna press it in nice and tight. This is where we're gonna get how it all comes together. We're gonna get it all pretty level in the bottom of this thing. The best we can here. See, love me using my hands, because it gets, Get your hands in there because it's just easier. I mean, if you really want to use a spoon, you can be all, it'll bake, you know. The spoon's probably more hygienic, I suppose, if you're going to serve it to other people. But this is just for me, so, and my family. 
Alright. Not me though. Yeah, you don't. She don't like it. <laughs> she ain't got the sweet tooth I do. Alright. Yeah, I probably should. Yes, seriously, trust me. Alright, after that, the next step is we're gonna grab these pecans. And while I do that, I'm gonna get my wife started here. Because quite frankly, she's better at this kind of stuff than I am. I, I ain't got the patience. So mm -hmm. we're a good team in the kitchen. Because she's got the patience to do some of the stuff that I don't. I'm gonna get her making this toffee sauce. All right. And this is about six tablespoons of butter. All right. We're gonna put that into a pan. Ooh, hello. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna get this going on a medium heat. Put it right in the middle there. With six tablespoons of butter and about a quarter cup of that swerve brown sugar replacement. Right there. And this is a nice little toffee sauce. So this will take a little bit of time. She's got to do some stirring. She's got her whisk there and she's got a spoon here if need be. It's just gonna kind of gotta keep this going. You gotta let the butter, butter melt. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna measure out some pecan halves here. Now we got a layer of pecans we're gonna do. Just throw those over, right, get it all spread out nice and even. Nice little base. Because when that because when that toffee sauce over there is all melted and, and cooked just right, we're gonna pour it over this. And it's all gonna melt together into a gooey deliciousness. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all, even as I'm going to make her. So this takes a little time here to get this going. Um, but some little things to know when you're cooking this kind of stuff. Um, these, these flour replacements, these sugar replacements, they cook a little different than your traditional sugars and your traditional flours, okay? Um, they cook faster, to be frank. I've, man, I've had a lot of time burning stuff because I didn't think it, because it just, it cooks in a hurry. Um, heck, one time I made these, the first time I made them, I burned them. I, like, I was going for, I was trying to, and it, it, it burns easy along the edges. I went for 15 minutes, it was too, it was, ooh, still tasted good in the middle, but then burnt, it got burned on the outside in a hurry. Then I did it for 10, that 10 to 12 range where we're going to end up making this thing when we get that far. Um, the same thing goes when we're doing this toffee. This, it doesn't, when you get that sugar in there, it doesn't boil quite like you would if you were making the toffee with the real real brown sugar and, and butter. Um, it's already see, starting it's, to melt too. So. Yep, we're getting it melted already. Um, we're gonna look for, it's gonna, when it gets to bubbling, not, not really gonna true, cause you get to true boil, it'll burn that, burn that toffee sauce too. So it's gonna get to bubbling um, around the edges and it's gonna turn kind of an amber brown color. We'll show you when we get that far here. Um, but yeah, we just kind of stir constantly, we're doing all this. Um, and at this point, I'll probably also usually get prepare my, I already know it's, I use about a half a cup of chocolate chips is what's going to get used here, which is about a half bag. I know this one's in here because I've already got that all, I've already used the other half, um, preparing this. So get that ready to roll. That will be needed after it bakes. We'll get there. Um, yeah. How's it coming over there, Crystal? Um, the color hasn't changed yet, and the sugar is still kind of has like that uh, that gritty kind of a look to it. Um, splashing all over the place, I see. Um, our kid can clean it up. That's yeah. rude. But uh, yeah, you just kind of—I usually just kind of stir it more often than not, um, just to keep it from sticking to the pan and scorching, and because you don't want that flavor to it so yeah you keep it stirred that scorch flavor it can happen in a hurry i say it's gonna take some trial and error as you're, as you're learning to cook with these things and you'll trust me you'll screw it up at least once or twice i'm trying to help you not do that because they say you just really got to keep your eye on this sort of stuff when it comes to this it usually only takes a couple minutes to really get to the right spot it don't take real long yeah see it's already kind of getting that darker color you see it you see it was a little lighter earlier we're already getting that darker color mm -hmm. so once we get bubbling around the edges 
that kind of have a little lighter to the edges this is going that that's going we want to do that once it starts boiling or boiling for another oh 30 seconds or so and then just that'll be about the right temperature yeah this whole process probably takes on medium maybe how many minutes i'd say maybe five minutes maybe five minutes tops probably so it's been it's 10 minutes really so far quick. You can always test the chocolate chip out and they still sure it tastes right when you're waiting. Because trust me, it's amazing what they do when you get more of these things. The zero sugar chocolate chips, I swear. Maybe it's been so long since I've had real chocolate chips, but I swear it tastes just as good and the same as... They, I tell you what, in today's day and age, you can do a lot with no sugar. They, they've come a long ways and they're, say, with their zero sugar chips, they're... Zero, there's these brown sugar placements. I'm telling you what, it, you can do this and it's and it, it, without even really changing your taste. It's it's amazing. Now we're starting to get a little bit of a bubble going. It looks like definitely getting that dark amber color. Mm-hmm. It's getting a little thicker. Not not too thick, but. Yeah, make sure you taste it when you're going to, otherwise it's not the same. Make sure it's not poisonous. Yeah. If you ain't, you ain't doing it right, if you ain't tasting it all the way. But yeah, that just doesn't like that. <clears throat> and if you choke on it right, it makes it a little better too. <clears throat> <laughs> we got the bubble going. Maybe I did put poison in it. You might have. You might have. <laughs> I, could, I wouldn't doubt you a bit. Oh, I think we got it on pipe. You're scared drinking your coffee. That's true. Coffee in the afternoon, you know, it's always good for extra energy. <laughs> Not that you need extra energy if you're doing keto, but every little bit helps. <sighs> so you got the pecans ready. Yep. Chocolate chips go on afterwards. I'm just waiting on you. Yeah. Why are you so slow over here? I mean, it's, there's a decent <laughs> chance that it's not your fault. <laughs> The decent chance is not your fault. Decent chance. But it's not near as much fun. If I don't blame you a little. Yeah, it's starting to bubble. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, probably about five or six minutes, I'd say. Uh, it might be a little more than We never really timed out, to be honest. We just kind of watched it. So, yeah, so just watch it. It's yeah. going gonna to happen here any second now, though. You see the edges starting to just don't start for a minute. Let's, let's yeah. see. It. Get in, get over there. See the edges are starting to get that little bubble along the edge. Here in a little bit, it's gonna really get going here, and then we're gonna be able to pour it over. Once once that happens, this happens kind of in a hurry. You take it right off the heat, and we're immediately gonna pour it onto this, onto, onto that, so we can it all gets melted in along the while well, it's still molten, if you will. Okay, it soaks into that crust and and gets the cons to all stick together. And it's just immediately get thrown in the oven. Yeah. And the grittiness from the um, sugar substitute, it, it, it dissolves. So that will be gone and then the color starts changing and it just looks like a really runny caramel right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's a delicious little coffee. Now I want caramels. Well, I'm not making caramels right now. I'm making a coffee sauce, but it's a very similar process. We'll make it eventually. We'll probably make a caramel one at some point in time. Yeah, we'll do a caramel. It's, it's delicious. Who doesn't so like There's caramel? lots of things you can do. As you're, as you're starting this keto journey, and you're worried about all these things, just got the right mindset, but there's lots of different ways to get these fixes. I've almost, there's almost nothing I haven't been able to find a decent substitute for that you crave. And I tell you what, I've got a sweet tooth. I got a, all the tooths that you can think of. And I create all this stuff, and I've come up with lots of great alternatives to keep you in ketosis mm -hmm. and losing that weight and feeling like a million bucks with your energy and food and all that, and still eating stuff you wouldn't believe could be good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here we're starting to get a really. And you've made stuff too that, in taking it to gatherings and functions and things like that, um, and people didn't even realize that it was keto stuff. If you look in there, you see that. The, it's kind of looks like a. 
really light tan. See, it's starting to get that caramely light tan mixing in with that amber. That's when we're getting that bubble. So we're going to let it do this for about 30 seconds here. And then we're going to pull this off because we don't, let's see, it don't take, it's very touchy. It don't take long to be scorched and then it's no good. You can see like, it's like a slow rolling of the bubbles. Yeah, so come back, come back over in here. See, yeah, you don't want see, to see that now we're getting that right in the middle that, there. That amber's turning that car, that lighter tan and it's bubbling. Now we really need to get into this stern here. We don't want to scorch it. And you know when you get a drop on your hand like that? It's super hot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good way to make sure that, you know, the toffee is also not hot. Hey, we know it's cooked at this point. That's hot. All right, that's going to be it. We're going to turn the heat off. And say this all kind of happens in a little bit of a hurry at this point. I'm going to get that right over there. Kind of evenly pour it over. Spatula out here. Get her all good and cleaned out. All right, hopefully by now the stove is all good and preheated. And don't lick the spatula if you're making it for somebody else. <laughs> that's a lie. Always lick the spatula. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Just don't tell you. That's good stuff. Yeah, just don't tell anybody, nobody know any different. Alright, then we just throw her in here. And we're gonna let her bake. I'm gonna put this on, let's say 10 to 12 is what we're looking at. I'm gonna put her on whoop, not, not 20, 20. that'd be bad. <laughs> I promise that'd scorch it. I promise. I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put it on for 10 and we'll take and we'll take a look at her then. So there we go. Yep, she's a clock clicking away. So yeah, no, like I say, that's what we're doing here. So we gotta keep our eye on it. We don't want it to burn. It scorches in a hurry. So don't go away and go, oops, I forgot about her. I mean, obviously go away for a few minutes, but that, that thing goes off in 10 minutes. Get over here and check her. Um, you anyway, don't want her to burn. It's just, it, it can burn in a hurry. It goes from done to burn in a few minutes. So we get, like I say, it's trial. You'll figure all this out with kind of a trial and error sort of thing. But yeah. Well, we probably ought to clean it up and we'll take a, we'll take a break for at least a few minutes. Like I said, we really need to keep an eye on her. We don't want her to burn. Let's, let's give her a quick peek. Take a look in there. See what it's kind of... You can kind of see on the edges. It's getting all bubbly there. Getting a little on the brown on the edges. This 10 minutes is going to be about right. Um, a little over ain't going to hurt, but we don't want to go past that. So, what I've got ready over here real quick. I've already... Like I said, you saw me do it earlier, but this is just the half a cup of zero sugar chocolate chips. Um, so we're yanking this out, and this is kind of being a, an immediate sort of thing here. I'm turn that off. You got there? Okay. The oh, I was going to put it right here on the stove. That's fine. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't care. All right, see, so here's what we got here. See, it's all getting a little bubbly. It's a little liquidy. That'll cool off. But see how the edges of that brown much longer, this will burn. So that's why we got to watch it. See, it's got a dark brown. 
All right, set it up here, and pretty much immediately here, what we're gonna do is get this kind of sprinkled evenly over the top of this. Get our chocolate chips whipped in. It's gonna be, it's gonna the the hot toffee mix here is gonna make kind of melt these in a little bit to the pecans. You should taste another one just just, just to, make to make sure. sure. And just give them, use your hands here, get in there, and press this down in there. It's gonna it'll have that nice. Chocolate chip, the look's gonna be beautiful when it's all done. And the toppy stuff is still gonna look a little bit runny. Yeah, with such, that's with, with, yeah, especially with the, with the swerve, and the, the other sugars, they don't, it keeps that runny, but when it cools and dries, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll come together like, just beautifully. Like crystallizes almost. It does, it does. All right. It's probably about good for a smush of it. Yeah, right there, we got, that's what she's gonna look like. Um, yeah, gotta clean it off somehow. Well, so, we don't use paper towels. Yeah, those are already fine, fine. <laughs> Brian, I'll use it. Okay. <laughs> now, you gotta let it cool, obviously. Um, so just let it sit on the countertop there until it's completely cooled off. Um, this is, this is roughly 2,420 calories if I edit all my math right and didn't, you know, go a little over and under. It's all kind of rough guessing here and also it's gonna be um, 15 net carbs in this entire thing. Okay? Um, with all the fiber and sugar and alcohol is gonna subtract from the carbs. That's 15 net carbs in this entire thing. 2420 calories, give or take. I like to cut it up into about 16. I usually do a 16 here. If you do that, it's gonna be roughly 150 calories in one net carb for just a Good little sweet treat to fix that sweet tooth and keep you on the path of ketosis. Um, we'll, we'll get this cut up when it's all cool and show you what it looks like. And, and if you like what you see, give us a like, subscribe to us, come members. I'll get this thing all in the description. I'll get it all read up, the recipe. So yeah, don't have to watch this every time. But hey, if you want to watch and laugh at us, that's fine too. But, but we'll definitely put the put the recipe in the description below. Say like us, share us, subscribe, become members. Become members. We'll have more recipes. We have more recipes available to members. Mm -hmm. um, a lot more access to us. To us, yeah. We're gonna make sure we're gonna get some access. We're gonna get things. We're gonna help you coach. We're gonna be coaches for you guys. We're gonna help you get through this. We will get you into ketosis. Stay in ketosis. Get your get your Sweet tooth, get your needs, get your whatever tooth you got going. I will help you figure out how to do this, and we will make this happen for you. This is Keto Made Easy. I'm Josh. This is Crystal. Thank you very much for watching, and join us next time.